Hi Flosstube, my name is Dana and my channel name is Gemstone Stitches. I'm back to do an update to show you what I have been working on with my cross stitching over the last, I don't know, over two months it's been I think. <laughs> I think I made a video um, at the end of April the last time and now it is pretty much mid-July. Uh, we've been pretty busy here lot going on and the temperatures outside are warmer so we've been a lot more active outdoors and wearing ourselves out so I haven't gotten quite as much stitching accomplished as I normally do uh, so I kind of was holding off on a video until I had a little bit more progress to share uh, I'll let you know a little bit more about what's going on with us at the end of the video if you want to stick around for that but for now, I'll uh, get into the stitching. And I just want to say thank you so much for tuning in and uh, seeing what I, ha what I have to share with you guys. The last time I was on here, um, I was, I just finished the April block of Year of Flowers. So I was eager to get to work on my Candy Cane Santa stocking because it was getting pretty close to being a finish. And I'm happy to say that I did finish it. Uh, I worked on the stocking until it was finished, I believe, before I even moved on to anything else. So that being said, my rotation went out the window. <laughs> um, I'm okay with that though. I think I work better off of rotation, but I had fun doing the rotation while I was into it and everything. But here is my finish. It's pretty big here. And if you look close, you can see the sequins that are supposed to be the snow falling outside the window. The last time you saw it, I just had a little bit of this pine tree to get finished and then all the back stitching and the sequins and the name banner on the top. So I quickly finished up the greenery down here and then I went on to back stitch. Um, mm, I think it was a, at least a week of back stitching. So you can see all the detail on Santa's face and the on the ribbon and the candy canes and all on the the window here has back stitching and then I did have to do some I think it's called couching um, um, on the holly berries or the holly leaves uh, the, this yellowy color um, it's different than back stitching it basically you have a running piece of thread and then instead of putting the thread behind you know putting it through the fabric and coming through and back stitching you leave the thread on the top and you have another string secured that comes through the back of the fabric in the front on top of this this running string that you have and coming back through to secure it in the different areas that it needs to make a shape. So it, the effect is that um, the thread is more on top of the fabric and adds a little bit more dimension to the project. Um, it was okay. It was, it was something new for me. I hadn't done it before, so I had to kind of get the hang of it. And you also had to do it down here on the sled, this white on the sled. And I think, yeah, and on top of the bird as well. So I got through all that, and then I did the sequins. I believe either I did this first and then the sequins, or the other way around. I can't remember. But um, for anybody who might have this project or is doing another dimensions uh, 
project that has sequins or something like that with it, I would keep really good track of those sequins when you open the pack because for me and my kit, they gave me just enough and I ended up losing a couple and ran out of sequins. I think there's supposed to be one or two more on here that are not there because I ran out of the sequins. And the other thing about them is that a lot of them were stuck together. So I had to keep, you know, peeling them apart before I could stitch them on. But I never ran out of any threads. The threads, they give you tons of thread. And then, um, yeah, other than that, the kit's great. So just the, the embellishments, the last little bit that um, they only give you just enough of. Um, I forgot also the little berries are French knots. So there, there are a few. Um, yeah, just right there. And then the eyeball on the, on the bird is a French knot. And then I came up and did the name banner. So that turned out pretty well. Um, There is some areas that I went side to side stitching and then went up and down stitching. So you can kind of tell um, when you look at it up close. So I'm kind of mad at myself for doing that. Um, but I'm hoping I haven't washed it yet. So I'm hoping when I wash it and kind of move it around a little bit, it will maybe make the stitches puff out a little bit more and take that effect away. If not, I am toying with the idea of frogging it out and redoing it if it bothers me enough. But I can count that as a finish. I am so excited. I love, love, love it. It is dimensional, just like the kit is called Dimensions. It is dimensional. You know, it's like there's a background and a foreground and um, just the use of using one thread versus five threads, using half stitches versus cross stitches, blended threads, all that detail, the couching, it really makes um, it look dimensional. So I understand why <laughs> they call these kits um, or the designers called dimensions. Um, I am going to bite the bullet and get a sewing machine at some point. Just not an expensive one, just one that will do um, just the major basic things that you use a sewing machine for because I do want to FFO it myself and I also have some curtains that I need to hem uh, that I've been putting off for a while. <laughs> um, we have three windows downstairs that I got curtains for and it took me forever to find curtains because um, one window needs 84 inch length curtains and then the two other windows only need 64 inch length. But it's really tough to find um, a fabric of curtain that has both lengths, uh, particularly because 64 inch length curtains aren't as um, easy to get as 84 inch. So um, what I finally decided to do once I found um, some curtains that I liked was just go ahead and hem um, or shorten the other ones to be the length that I need for those two windows. So I want to get to work on doing that and then FFOing the stocking. So I'm going to do the curtains first and <laughs> Um, try my hand at the sewing machine and then once I feel a little bit more comfortable I'll come back around and do the stocking and um, my stepmother-in-law does do use a sewing machine so um, I'll ask her for help if I if I feel I need to on that the next thing that I worked on was my heaven and earth designs project it is uh, Peacock Days by Josephine Wall. That's the finished, finished picture. So 
so I'm on the top row. Um, I'm doing this on 28 count fabric in one over one on its Lugana fabric. And I was able to get a finished page. So those are my two big accomplishments. There's a finish on the stocking and a finished page here. So there it is. And I had some extra threads um, once I finished this page. When I had a really long length of thread left, I did go ahead and start stitching that color in the last page and then pulled it down here. Um, and the last page, the sixth page, is a partial page. And I think right here is the very end. So that's how wide it will be. And I'm very happy to report that I don't have the major ridging and rippling that I had in the previous pages. The first page was pretty, well, yeah. It's like the, the first page isn't so good, then the second page feels better, and then these two pages aren't the greatest, but then back here <laughs> it's better. Um, but I'm just going to stick with the method that I had been using on this page, which is to start the thread using a knot on, on the end of the thread. And then when I'm done, I just pull the remaining thread to the front of the fabric and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm very, very excited. Um, I think uh, I don't know how long it took me. I don't remember when I finished that that page, but I couldn't put it down. I had to finish it. I should. I I kept thinking. Well, I'm supposed to be working on a uh, Spirit of Vera Land right now, but I kind of just want to finish this page. <laughs> So if my rotation wasn't already out the window with trying to finish the candy cane Santa stocking, it really went out the window whenever <laughs> I picked up my haid. Uh, couldn't help myself. I had a lot of fun though, and that's all that matters. After that, I, yeah, and somewhere in there I did, I worked on this project. I don't remember when. But I worked on May, um, and I got that done in the month of May. And this is Lily of the Valley. It's a little white, white flower. I'm trying to see. The fabric is stretched, so it looks all wonky. But when I take it out of the Q-snap, it's not like that. <laughs> it's just in there funny right now and then uh, after I did um, finished my page five of heaven and earth design I came in and I did June and this one has French knots in the center If I get too close, I see that it gets all blurry. So they're they're pretty okay, French knots. Most of them turned out pretty good. There's a couple that <laughs> I couldn't get to lay as well as I would have liked, but overall, it's 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 good. I was kind of surprised I didn't realize this project has any French knots in it, but this. This project does have specialty stitches, like the the daffodils up here have um, rice stitches, I think. They're just straight stitches. And then um, over here, these little flowers just, they're not cross stitches, they're just 
little lines that come down. So there, and that's what I found in the other drawn thread projects that I've worked on is that there is a mix mostly of cross stitching, but then you do have specialty stitches throughout as well to give the different effects. And so July, I believe, is a blue flower, so I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, you can see um, the finished pictures on this is re are really small. Oops, sorry, it's blurry again, but yeah, that's just a blue flower there. It's going to be really pretty. So I got those two blocks done on Year of Flowers by the Drawn Thread, and I'm doing that on a 32 count um, linen. I don't remember what kind, but it's just kind of a natural color. And then the product that I have been working on over the last couple weeks um, is Sweet Dreams stocking by Dimensions Gold and I'm just using the fabric that came in the kit. Um, it's supposed to look like this when it's complete. Last time I showed you I had um, the white fur down to about his belt, Santa's belt done, the red jacket and all this done and then I think I got the drum finished and it in his in his sack toy sack done and I had the little girl done up here doll so I I've been working up in this area over the last couple weeks I haven't gotten a ton of progress because like I said I haven't been <laughs> stitching every day and when I do stitch it's not very long periods of time I need to get back into it um, so here it is. This is my needle up here because I still have a bunch of green thread from where I was stitching right here. Um, so I've been working on these presents and, um, anytime I had a lot of extra thread, I would see where that color was in other parts of the the pattern and then just like use up the rest of the thread there went up the window there if I had some greens I came through and did some of the Christmas tree over here so this project definitely I think has a lot more back stitching than the um, candy cane Santa uh, definitely to make the all these different motifs and or items in the project pop so yeah um, the back stitching might not go as easily in this project as it did in the other one but my plan is to continue to work over so I have done everything on this side until you know, the window and the background start um, so what I want to do is I just finished this green present here and um, right here is Santa's red hat so once I finish the green the thread that's on this needle right now that's green which will probably come through in the tree somewhere over here um, I'm gonna do his hat I think I need to finish the holly leaves and then I will work on the tree and I want to make my way over to the end of the stocking over here. And the tree is quite detailed as well. It has a lot of ornaments and lights and um, I think I do that couching again with some gold metallic thread um, on the tree there. But you can see how the back stitching is really going to help the design and it's very needed. So I think I'm going to work on this until July uh, 14th and midway through the month and then 
Um, my next plan is to get back to Spirit of Veerland by um, Long Dog Sampler. That's what it looks like finished. I'm doing this on 30, 32 count Lilac Belfast, um, two over two. And I chose DMC color 550 to go on the lilac fabric. So it's very purple. This is how far I've gotten. I haven't worked on this at all since my last video. So looking forward to that. Um, we are going to my in-laws have a cabin on Lake Winnipesaukee in New Hampshire and we're going there for a week at the end of the month so I think I'm gonna end up bringing that project um, just because it will be really easy to pack just one color and the, the pattern and I'm good to go <clears throat> I also need to work on July block so I'll get to get going on those two things uh, but that's about it. That's all I, I've got to show you as far as cross stitching goes. I know I mentioned in my last video that I did get a job and I haven't started the job yet. Um, I did finally get notified of my start date, which is going to be August 18th. So I'm really happy that um, the job didn't start for so long because it's given me a lot of time to enjoy the warmer months with my kids and take them swimming and play outside and do all those those things that you get to do when it's a little bit warmer out and uh, yeah and and it starts right around the time the school year my job starts right in the, at the time the school year begins so that works out really well um, for my son's preschool and then my daughter will end up starting daycare at that time um, but yeah our trip to Newport Rhode Island for our, our anniversary was really really nice I do recommend that town to anybody um, who wants a trip in the Northeast area or is close by um, it, it's really fun and there, there's so much to look at and the beach is right there so we were able to put our feet in the beach um, or in the ocean <laughs> and uh, hadn't done that in a while but the water was quite cold <laughs> I don't know if it ever gets very warm up there uh, what else my parents came for a couple weeks they just left a few days ago so that was a really fun and busy time um, another reason why I didn't get too, too much stitching done because my routine was totally just, you know, having fun. That's what we were doing. So I did stitch when I could. And then, um, yeah, coming up, we go to the lake. So that'll be another big, big thing for us. Yeah. So I hope you guys are enjoying your time and getting a lot of stitching in, uh, Happy stitching to you all, and thanks again for tuning in. Bye-bye.